how I will hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about poverty as a challenge. Okay? So, here first we have to discuss about the overview of the chapter that what is given in the, this chapter, whole chapter. Okay? So, uh, this chapter deals with uh, one of the most uh, difficult challenges after uh, faced by the India that is uh, after independence. It means after the 1947. Okay? That is poverty. After discussing this multi-dimensional problem, uh, we uh, discuss the way of, we can say, way of the poverty in the, uh, we have seen in the social science, okay? So, poverty trends in India and the world are illustrated through the concept of poverty line. It means uh, uh, mainly, mainly not uh, commonly, uh, we illust illustrate the uh, con uh, concept of poverty line okay to check the who are poor and who are rich so causes of poverty as well as anti-poverty measures taken by government are also discussed okay in, in this chapter we will also discuss about the causes and also the anti-poverty uh, measures that is taken by the government of india the chapter ends with the broadening the official concept of poverty into human poverty and it, uh, the chapter ends with the uh, po uh, broadening of the official concept of poverty and also into the human poverty okay so this is the overview of the chapter that uh, we are going to read okay that first topic is our introduction and after that the two cases of poverty okay here is the two cases that it is given here that with the help of example we discuss all this thing so two cases is given that in urban case this one is a story and in this one is a ruler case okay so let discuss first thing is introduction that in our daily life we come across many people who we think are poor it means in our daily life that many people uh, come across that uh, we think that uh, he is poor he is rich okay how, how we can judge uh, from their personality, from their behavior, okay, etc. And uh, they could be landless, liberals, in villages or uh, people living in overcrowded zoogies in cities, okay. That uh, they could be landless, liberals in villages and also people living in the overcrowded zoogies in the city also. They could be daily wages worker, they could be also a uh, daily wage worker at a construction site or a child worker in Dawas. It means uh, they are also on a daily wage that uh, that many people uh, hire some uh, uh, labor to work in the construction site to uh, for anything, okay? And also many, okay? So the child worker are also worker. Uh, uh, if you go in towers, you can also see that a child is serving you. Okay, they are working on the daily basis. So they could also beggars with children in tatters. Okay, they could also beggars children in tatters. Okay, they could towers. Uh, that here. Uh, after Dawas, here is given that they could be also be beggars with the children in tatters. Uh, it means uh, they could be also beggar with children, okay? Tatters in the sense that uh, uh, you see a uh, many poor that uh, he is uh, uh, wearing a cloth like uh, uh, tattered, like a piece of cloth uh, from uh, also damaged cloth, okay? You can say so. A piece of uh, a torn piece of cloth is called tatter, okay? So obviously, uh, mainly they are in the uh, <coughs> wear damaged clothes. Okay. Now we are we see sorry we see poverty all around us. Okay, we see poverty in all around us. Okay. In fact, till every fifth person in India is poor. In fact, every fifth person is in India is poor. This means roughly 270 million or 27 crore people in India in poverty 2000. Uh, here is a record given from uh, in the year 2011 to 12 that uh, 270, people, uh, 270 million or 27 crore people in India live in poverty. Okay. And 
this also means that India has the largest single concentration of the poor in the world. It means uh, it shows the that uh, India has the largest. We can say uh, India has the largest poverty in the world. This is uh, illustrate the seriousness of the challenge. It means this also illustrate the seriousness of the challenge that is poverty. Two tactical cases of poverty. Here is a two uh, case of poverty that is given. First one is given from the urban areas that let's see. Uh, 33 years old Ram Saran works as a daily wage laborer, laborer in a wheat flour mill near Rachi in Jhakar. Okay, this is a, a we are talk uh, here is a story about the we can say 30 e, 30 uh, 33 years old Ram Saran works as a daily wage laborer in the flour mill. Okay, in the mill. Uh, that mill is wheat flour. Okay. Uh, that means mill is of is of flour mill. Okay. It is of flour. Um, near it is located near the Rachi. Okay. In Jharkhand, he manages to earn around rupees one thousand five hundred. Okay. We are talking about the urban areas. That uh, you all uh, have to know that uh, if urban areas is. Uh, 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 here that uh, if the urban areas is earning from more than 100 they are called not in poverty they are called richer okay more than 1000 but uh, below who, who in urban areas now we are talking about the urban areas if the if they earn low below uh, like uh, 900 800 they are still in the urban area but uh, they still called what we can say below the poverty line it means poor here he manages to earn about rupees 1500 a month when he finds employment okay it means when he uh, finds employment he managed to earn uh, 1500 a month okay in a month his wage is 1500 which is not often okay it means uh, uh, for uh, him which is not often okay this money is not enough to sustain his family of six that includes his wife, four children, is it between, uh, it means uh, also it depends on the family that if the family is bigger, it means uh, large that uh, they can also not fulfill their basic need that uh, in this case there is also given that uh, his family have how many members? Six members. If uh, only uh, we can say only what the name Ram Saran is uh, um, um, we can say that if he was bachelor and earning 1000 plus money then it is called a poverty above the poverty line but uh, but but he have to manage the things uh, sorry he have to manage to fulfill the basic need of her of his family also okay so that the family member are six that includes his wife or children is it between 12 years to 6 months and also he has to send money home to his old parents see he is just earning 1500 but he have he has many sorry he has many problems like uh, uh, in 1500 rupees he have also he have also to fulfill their basic needs of his family and also send some money to their to her to uh, to his grandparents okay who live in village near Ramgar. okay Ramgar is a place his father a landless laborer okay it means uh, his father was a landless laborer okay depend on ram saran and his brother who lives in hazari Bagh for sustenance it means uh, uh, his father is depend on the ram saran okay if uh, ram saran send uh, him money they can fulfill their needs but if ram saran is not able to give the money they cannot survive okay so and one more brother who lives in hazari for sustenance it means 
also from uh, for employment okay to get job okay ram saran lives in a one room rented house in a crowd basti in the outskirt of the city okay he was in the rent house rented house which is located uh, in the crowded cities crowded basti you can say which is outskirt of the city it's a temporary sad build of uh, bricks and clay tiles it means it is a temporary build, uh, building you can say it is a temporary house which is built with bricks and clay tiles his wife santa devi okay his uh, wife's name is santa devi works as a part time maid in a few houses and manages to earn rupees only 800 okay it means uh, we can say they manage a migre meal of dal and rice twice a day obviously they have but um, they have more burden but they are earning very low wage okay uh, so they uh, manage a migre of meal of dal and rice twice a day only two times but there is never enough for all of them okay but this is not enough for all of them his elder son works as a helper in a tea shop okay but his elder son who also work in a tea shop in a, you can say to help okay to supplement the family income on another rupees 300 okay so while his 10 years old daughter take care of his younger siblings none of the children to go to school obviously they have uh, only to fulfill their basic need they have less money less migre so how they children can go to school so they have only two pairs of hand me down clothes each new ones are brought only when the old clothes become unwearable so are uh, so are the luxury the younger kids are are <coughs> denoraised under nourished uh, they have no access to <coughs> health care when they fall ill it means uh, if they fall ill if they get ill they have no access to for the health care to consult a doctor and to buy medicine okay here now this is the case of uh, urban area that in urban area they are uh, <coughs> there is a name uh, Man whose name is uh, uh, Ram Saran who lives in the town, but still his uh, uh, earning is two million. He can uh, his uh, uh, we can say his uh, uh, income is not very, but uh, he have to spend this money very like uh, for her uh, for his uh, grandparents for his uh, we can say for his family so. for this uh, uh, he cannot sus uh, we can say sustain their basic life okay to fulfill their basic needs next is a story about the rural rural areas that is a uh, uh, let's see the story of this case so uh, ladakh sen belongs to a small village near merat in uttar pradesh okay uh, his name is ladakh sen and uh, it, uh, he is from a small village near a merit in the uttar pradesh his family doesn't own any land okay his family doesn't have any land own land okay so they do odd job for his the big farmers it means they do job in the big farmers for the big farmers okay so work is erratic and so his so his income at the times they get paid as Rupees fifty for a hard day's works. Okay, for hard day work, he paid only he get paid only fifty rupees. But often it's in kind like a few kilograms of wheat or dal or even vegetable for toiling in the farm through the day. But it also get some we can say kilogram of wheat, dal, uh, even a vegetable for toiling and. in the farm through the day also okay but often it's in now the family of eight uh, now his family is about 
एट कैन नॉट ऑलवेज माइनस टू स्क्वायर अ मिल लता सॉरी लखा नो इट्स नेम इज लखा सिंह सॉरी सॉरी आई इट्स नेम इज लखा सिंह ओके सो लखा लिप्स इन कच्चा बट कच्चा हट ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ही ऑल्सो लिव इन द कच्चा हाउस ओके सो He also live in the outskirt of the village in the Kacha Hut. Okay, so uh, the women of the family spend the uh, day chopping fodder and collecting firewood in the fields. Okay, he work uh, in the <laughs> chopping fodder <laughs> and collecting firewood in the field. He also uh, spend a uh, day for chopping the. Fodder and also collecting firewoods in the from the field. Okay, his father a TV patient. Now his earning income is also to migri and his father is a sorry uh, his father a TV patient passed away two years ago due to lack of medication. Obviously, his earning is to migri. and uh, from the uh, because for doctor for to buy medicine he uh, uh, he have to he have to he have to some uh, earn some more money okay because for to consult a doctor they also want a money to buy medicine they also want money okay so uh, just because of money he passed away okay now his mother now suffers from the same disease and life is slowly ebbing away it means his mother whose mother lakha mother is also a tb patient okay and but slowly he was ebbing his life although the village has a primary school lakha never went there it means uh, village have a primary school but lakha never went there just because of money um he had to start earning when he was 10 years old it means uh, he start earning from uh, when he is only 10 years old new cloth happen of uh, once in a few years okay but in this case they uh, buy new clothes in after if the old clothes are not un uh, we can uh, they are not unwearable but uh, In this case, they only buy new clothes in the next year, in a year. Okay. Even soap and oil are luxury for the family. And what is this in luxury? In the case of urban, their soap are luxury for their family. And in this case, soap and oil are luxury for the family. Study of the uh, above cases of poverty and discuss the following issue related to the poverty. It means. Uh, uh, <clears throat> we have to discuss this thing related to the poverty that uh, this these are the reason we can say that he or she is in poverty that if the person is landlessness uh, landlessness is also we can say now now second one is uh, un unemployment size of family that we can see here that uh, his family member is eight the family of eight cannot manage and is urban area there is six okay illiteracy poor poor health child labor also and help helplessness also okay so these are the issue related to the poverty now these two typical cases illustrate many dimension of poverty this uh, case illustrate that uh, illustrate many dimension of poverty they show that poverty means hunger and lack of shelter they show what so they show that uh, poverty means uh, lack of hunger also sorry means hunger hunger it means uh, they are not getting food properly and they also 
lack of shelter okay it is it is uh, it is a it is all it also is a situation in which parents are not able to send their children to school or a situation where sick people cannot afford treatment in this case in rural case we have seen that uh, uh, his father was a tb patient but to f- just because of money they cannot cure his father okay able to cure his father now and they are also uh, not going to school just because of money and uh, and uh, now poverty also means lack of clean water sanitation sorry sanitation facilities okay lack of also clean water and sanitation facilities uh, it uh, also means lack of uh, regular job at a minimum decent level it also lack of a lack of a job that uh, in urban ke in urban case we see that the his earning is uh, income is negative that is only 1500 and in rural area they are only a lakh lakh earn only 80 not 50 rupees okay for is hard work daily hard work now 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 above all it means living with a sense of helplessness okay uh we all see that this is a living in a uh, we can say sense of helplessness poor people are in a situation in which they are ill treated at almost every place in farms factories government office hostels uh, railway station etc we can uh, we see that poor people are in a situation in which they are ill treated okay that is in uh, we can many places like government offices uh hospitals railway station obviously nobody would like to live in poverty obviously no one want to live in poverty they all want to uh, live a rich life rich life that uh, to move in a car <coughs> to live uh, in a big house okay so obviously no one want to live in a poverty okay uh, now one of the biggest challenge of the independent india has to been to bring millions of its people out of object abject poverty it means uh, this is the one of the biggest challenge that is uh, uh, from the independent india has been to bring millions of its people out of its abject poverty okay now mahatma gandhi always insisted insisted that india would be truly independent only when the poorest of its people become free of human suffering it means mahatma gandhi always insisted that india become what we can say truly independent only when the poorest of its people become free of human suffering now poverty as seen by a social scientist okay now this is the thing that is poverty is seen by the social scientist that says poverty has many faced social scientist look at it enough that is uh, uh, look at it sorry look at it through a variety of indicators it means since poverty has many faced okay but social scientist look at it the through a variety of indicators okay use uh, we can see that uh, uh, we see that uh, poverty have many phases but some uh, that uh, we can say that social scientists look at through a variety of indicators like uh, if some people is uh, uh, today uh, if uh, someone is uh, richer okay but if if he, he uh, not able to manage the things okay if <coughs> his base is um, uh, we can say uh, simultaneously decreasing then the we can say that his in future he will be poor he will be below, uh, below the poverty line okay so it is uh, there are very variety of indicators okay usually the indicators are the conjunction sorry 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 usually the indicator used to relate to the rel- level of usually the indicator used to relate the level of income and consumption okay it means it is usually indicated that is called 
what level of income that uh, i have also mentioned that uh, given an example of a man that he is decreasing his uh, his uh, payment is decreasing simultaneously okay and consumption also if he, if he is not saving money okay but now poverty is looked through other social indicators like illiteracy level lack of general assistance due to malnutrition lack of access to the health care also lack of job opportunities lack of uh, access to safe drinking water sanitation <coughs> sanitation sanitation it is the analyzing analysis of poverty based on social uh, exclusion and vulnerability is now becoming very common okay it means this thing are becoming very common that is given in the box first one is social exclusion which is according to this concept poverty must be seen in terms of the poor having to live only in a poor surrounding with the other poor people it means according to this com concept poverty must be seen in the terms of the poor okay that is having to live only in a poor surrounding with the other poor people now excluding from the enjoying social, social equality and a better of people in the better surroundings okay <coughs> if we spend time in a better surrounding in a better we can say better of people in their better surroundings that they can have uh, uh, increase uh, his or herself to uh, take uh, you can say to take job for uh, best income okay but uh, if they are living in a uh, normal we can say in a poor uh, society they are not do this things okay social exclusion can be both a cause as well as a consist consequence of a poverty in the usual sense okay it is a both cause of a as well as a we can say consequence of a poverty in the usual sense broadly it is a process through which individual or group are excluded from facilities benefits opportunities that other they are better it means they are broadly we can say uh which individual sorry broadly it is a process through which individual uh, or a group of uh, uh, group are excluded from uh, which things that uh, from facilities benefits opportunities that other have okay they are better in enjoy okay a special example uh, the, uh, is the working of uh, the caste system in the india in which people belonging to the certain caste are excluded from their equal opportunity okay if our uh, caste is also that uh, that if they are belongs to some lower caste they are uh, they are not able to get job in upper uh, upper you can say upper institute or <coughs> in upper class they cannot get upper class job okay so india in which people belonging a certain caste are excluded from the equal opportunity okay they cannot get the equal opportunities social exclusion thus may lead to but can cause more damage than having a very low income okay this exclusion thus may lead to uh, that can cause more than da more uh, damage than a very low income okay now next thing is vulnerability okay so let's discuss vulnerability to uh, poverty is a measure that uh, which uh, describes the greater probability of certain communities okay it means the vulnerability is a poverty sorry vulnerability to poverty is a measure which describes the greater okay now probability of certain of our communities sorry communities say member of a backward caste or a individual such a window, widow or a physical handicapped person okay of becoming or remaining poor in coming years okay if uh, if the person is a uh, uh, widow uh, and now if the person is handicapped okay and uh, something that they are physically in danger okay so we can say that uh, they are uh, they remain poor in that in the coming year because uh, if uh, if their hands are ha uh, if they are handicapped then how can they work okay now 
Vulnerability is determined by the option available to determine communities for the finding an alternative living in terms of assist, education, health and job on the basis of their greater risks. These groups face at the time of a natural disaster like earthquake, tsunami, terrorism, etc. Okay, it means we can say further it is a Sorry, this uh, here yeah, the different communities for finding an alternative living in terms of assets, education, health, and job opportunities. Okay, so this type of uh, option available, like uh, that is uh, different types of you can say alternative living in terms of what assist like uh, education health uh, and job opportunities further it is analyzed on the basis of greater risks these group face at the time of natural disaster also that is earthquake tsunami drought we can say terrorism it is see additional analysis is made up of their social and economic capability to handle this risk it means it is a additional analysis that uh, is made made uh, made you that uh, you can manage this thing in the we can say uh, natural calamities also that uh, is disaster like uh, earthquake tsunami terrorism you can say drought also okay pandemic pandemic so this type of things can also handle this type of risks okay in fact, vulnerability describes the greater probability of being more adverse, more ad, that uh, we can say here, uh, probably adversely affected than other people when bad time comes for everybody. Okay, that whether a flood, earthquake, or a simply a fall in the ability of job. Okay. It means we are get affected by also the poor people uh, that uh, if uh, some disaster are come in the we can say like uh, earthquake, drought, okay? And also we can simply fall in the availability of job also, okay? So these are the things that uh, now next thing is poverty line that we will discuss in the next video so i hope you understand all the things so that's all for today thank you have a nice day